One, two, three. Welcome. Yeah, where's Tammy? Let's get on with Let's the show. Let's do it. Let's go. Happy, happy weekday. <laughs> Just for random everyone weekday. tuning in. Happy it generic is... weekday. Happy generic weekday. <laughs> Welcome to Mixed Cocktail Hour, everyone. So basically, what we're going to be doing today, Tammy, is we're going to be doing a little fan service. We, of course, on our YouTube channel, get analytics. Yes. Uh, we find out how people find our channel, mm. and we went through and we found the four top cocktails mm. that people search our channel for. Mm. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think we've made any of these cocktails at least for a long time, if ever on well, the channel. When the cameras are off, right. we're making them all. Constantly. Constantly. Yeah. So, so yes. we wanted to give uh, the people that are searching for our channel yeah. something to find. One of the top four, yeah. we're making four cocktails today. Yeah. One of the top four is a cocktail that I feel like I have made before, but probably haven't done it for a while, and we might need just a quick refresher on it. Okay. The Mojito. Oh. People search our Ooh. channel, they try and find us, and they mm. don't find enough Mojitos. Fun fact about this cocktail, uh, I do a yearly show uh, right around February 12th uh, for my favorite actress, uh, oh, Christina Ricci. Yes. You're some kind of creepy voyeur. At one point, uh, Christina Ricci did reach out to me. She did, We've tried. We've tried to get her on the show a number of times. I didn't know this. Uh, with three words. Oh, okay. Hit me, Sergeant. <laughs> I like oh. mojitos is what oh. she wrote. Yes, I like mojitos. So uh, wow. I feel like... Guess what? She knows yeah. you exist now. That is true. Isn't she very much does. A huge satisfaction. A huge. Right. So uh, we're going to be making a mojito. This is how I make a mojito. Yes. Uh, I feel like this is a uh, cocktail that a lot of people should have ready to go. Yep. A lot of great technique in this. And yep. I do think it's important uh, that we sort of understand how some of this works. So adding mint lime yeah. and sugar to things has been uh, has been around for a very long time. Yeah. Uh, mint uh, has some healing properties. Uh, sugar, of course, was difficult to get. It's a, it was considered a spice for a very long time. Yeah. Um, and... Yeah, it was probably fine. some of those uh, uh, holistic drinks back in the day. Absolutely. That, you know, you, you get a cold yeah. and they're like, ah, uh, we're... Mojito. Do you know what uh, mojito means? Oh, I did. It's something small. It's little magic. magic. Magic, that's what it is. I know it's something small. So I have these mint leaves in here. I found some of the nicer mint leaves in Love here it. to put in here. We're gonna take, uh, I like to put two sugar cubes in here uh, and some of this lime. Yep. Find the middle here. So you find the nub in here, you find the, the part where it was connected to the tree here. Yeah. It's about a third off. And then you can see in here, I think Greg can probably see that. Uh, this is, should I hold it up here? You let me know. Off camera season. Okay, great. Uh, right here, you have this column. Mm. That column is a little juice thief. Mm. So we want that guy out of there. Juice sucker. It's just like, it like keeps the juice inside. It's, it gives structure to the lime. And the yeah. way that we get most of our juice out of lime is by crushing the lime. Yeah. And so if you have all of this, uh, all the structure, it's not gonna do it. So now we don't have it. And now just like our friend Constante Ribilagua Vert, mm. we're gonna squeeze by hand. Yeah, love it. Get all that in here. Well, at that time, maybe they didn't have lime squeezes, you know? And you know, I don't know. I don't know. he did, but he was like, you know what? Well, Constante definitely had lime squeezers. I don't know about when the... Oh. oh, yeah, Constante definitely did, but he uh, he considered it to be sort of a, uh, a cocktail foul, uh, oh. because when you squeeze with a lemon squeeze, or with a, a lime squeezer, yeah. you are losing a lot of the oils okay. on the outside mm. of your drink, and that is... Um, that's what that's what it's tastes like lime. Note. That's just it's what it's the the part that tastes like lime yeah. is the outside. Yeah. So we're gonna take our muddler, and the idea for this is really not to crush this mint. Uh, we really just want to squeeze and twist okay. until we can get all of the uh, flavors of the mint, or just sort of the oils on that mint, out. Mint is a tough thing to work with. It's very yeah. difficult to make mint simple syrup um, yeah. because you either get too much chlorophyll or you get, uh, it becomes too bitter or it becomes too, there's just a lot of things that can become too much of. Bitsy. It can be too, uh, become too bitsy is yeah. exactly right. Yeah. Let's get this guy out of here. 
throw that in here. Now we're gonna be pouring in our rum. Of course. Of course. Bacardi is a perfect rum to use for this. Yep. Uh, sort of like a daiquiri, you really can use any rum you want to, uh, but Bacardi most likely was the first rum ever and in a white. mojito. And white. Yeah, so, and it's a nice white yeah. Puerto Rican style. Yeah. Well, originally Cuba, so we're kind of keeping it in the Cuban house. Absolutely. And then migrated. Yeah. Uh, still the Caribbean though. Still the Caribbean. Yeah. I put uh, two ounces of that in there. Okay. Now, we just spent all that time lightly muddling. Mm -hmm. So the idea here is not to shake this until you break all the mints anyway. Yeah. So we're just gonna give this a nice easy shake. See, that's what it is. I think the bartenders have made my mojitos, which is too strong. Yeah. So we'll just say, I'm gonna shake this baby up. Yeah, they might have been of, on front of uh, this chick. under the influence of Show something muscles, as well. Show muscles, you know what I mean? And they just went a little too far. Yeah, you just get, you know, having a uh, having a mojito with little bits floating around in it, yeah. you can never tell whether that's a, a piece of mint or mm. a piece of basil or a bug wing, who knows what it is. So the cleaner the cocktail you can get, yeah. uh, the better you are. Uh, clearly I've worked in some uh, bars that have bug wings yeah, in great. their mojitos, so I've had to learn. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is not more. Do you think there's going to be any pieces in there? Do you have a sphere? Let's just try. Oh, it's gone down. It's gone down. Yeah, yeah, it'll get down there. Let's just try and tap this out a touch. Let's chip. You ready? Watch out. There we go. Alright. Just add a little what? What? spin. So did you respond to Christina Ricci when she said, I love mojitos? <laughs> I like turtles. She has not tuned in yet. Oh. Uh, Maybe although, she did and she didn't write anything. You don't know. I think with my show, I do know. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I'm not All at the right. point where like, oh, there's hundreds of thousands of people here. All right. Could Christina have been well, one of those well, I don't know. people that wasn't chatting? You that know, really isn't okay. how the show works. Well, she was busy filming Wednesday or something. We don't know. Yeah, she, uh, yeah. Uh, Yellow Jackets is oh, what she's oh. up to right well, now. Well, there you go. See, she's busy. Yeah. So we want to go ahead and pour this in oh, here. Yum. We can see just a touch. Okay, that's probably the clearest mojito I've ever had in my life. Yeah, we can see a touch of that uh, green that's a little bit from the mint, yeah. uh, a little bit. And if you actually look in here, mm. I'll just put this right here. If you look in there, you can still see that there are a bunch of like big pieces of mint. Well, if you put it underneath yeah. the camera. Well, that's what I was doing. Right there, yeah. just like that? Okay. Uh, you can see that there are a bunch of like large pieces of mint in yeah. there. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Okay. We really want that to be I love uh, the you case. just expressed everything from it, but yeah. I don't have to eat it. Yeah, exactly. So there's no, there is no, uh, there's nothing that's gonna get caught in your teeth. Mm -hmm. You know, like a mojito should be a, uh, a mojito yeah. should be a, a drink that you take a picture with. That's the thing, you know? mojitos, caperinos, you know, all that muddling right. mint sort of situation. Yeah. You always get like stuff in your teeth. Yeah, yeah, no bueno. You know? uh, we're gonna take just a touch of soda water. Okay. Just, we want it to be a touch bubbly. Uh, I like to give that a stir right afterwards so yeah. that some of the stuff can come to the top. Looks fantastic. I like to yeah. shove just a little Look bit of that. mint yep. right in here, and then we will. That's really pretty. We will not unuse this little lime that I cut earlier and yeah. then decided against. We're going to give it a little lime wheel. Yeah, just very simple cocktail. Not a lot to it. Uh, but it certainly has, I'm gonna put this, um, I'm gonna put the uh, straw over here next to the mint. Oh, there you go, you. Next to the mint so that when you get your nose in there, yep. you are smelling some mint. But there you have it. That is a that? classic, a classic <sighs> mojito, no bits in your mouth, yep. no, uh, no uh, mintness, but there is gonna be a lot of mint in the drink. Cheers, everyone. To you. The mojito. The mojito. Little magic. Little magic. I mean, it's a little lot of magic, though, isn't it? Yeah, really? it's a lot of magic. I mean, yeah, little, little lot of yeah. magic. Um, I can understand why why people search for this. Yeah. Okay, so drink number two. Drink number two was a surprise to me. Okay. This was a cocktail that a lot of bartenders in the early 2000s sort of found going through old books. Okay. And they said, wow, I mean, wh what a cool sounding drink. Where the heck do I, fo what even is creme de violette? Oh. Uh, so people stopped putting creme de violette into this thing. Okay. Uh, David Wunderich, who is probably the greatest cocktail historian to ever live, mm -hmm. um, has called this drink uh, hand soap. 
Uh, he says that you put it in creme de violette and it tastes like hand soap. I have to respectfully, yes. and I love his work, disagree with him. Yes. I do think the creme de violette works really well in this. Uh, this is a cocktail called the Aviation. My question is, yes. how do you know, mm -hmm. not you, how does yeah. one know right. that it tastes like hand soap? Which means he must have at some point eaten hand soap. I uh, I listen to his uh, podcast. He has yeah. one of the greatest podcasts I think in the world. Um, no, no, it's uh, it's called uh, Life Behind Bars. It's a great. Uh, okay. He's oh, a that's bartender. That's a pun. Yeah, yeah, okay. Pun. Um, and uh, he has a filthy mouth. Okay. So oh. I am sure. Oh. I am sure that what happened was a few times in his younger life. Yeah. Uh, he was uh, told to eat hand soap. So that's oh. my that's my thought on it at least. That's where gotcha. Dave Wonderich knows okay. how hand soap tastes like. Gotcha. I don't know, Dave. You can give a, give me a call. That's I, a that's a good call. He's though. retweeted me like ten times. So. Oh, nice. Wow, more than Christina Ricci. She has never retweeted me. She wrote, I like mojitos. Yes. That's all oh, she's hey, ever written hey. to me. I like turtles. This is a gin cocktail, as you said earlier. Yeah. There is uh, going to be uh, some lemon juice in here. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're gonna start with our cheapest ingredient here, which is going to be lemon. We need about half an ounce, or about half of a lemon usually does that pretty well. Okay. Uh, if you wanna measure it, you can. Nerd. Um, uh, that now after this, the ingredients do sort of become a little esoteric, a little sort of out there. Right. Uh, one of them is my very favorite uh, cocktail ingredients. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, I put on the cocktail Oscars uh, oh. on my show. I, nice. uh, the the, uh, the winner yes. of best supporting ingredients this year went to Luxardo Maraschino Liqueur. I like it. So congratulations yeah. to them. Uh, nobody from Luxardo has reached out to me to pick up their award, but Ooh. hopefully they do at I'll some point. I'll take it. Yes, all right, I'll send it to you. I'll keep it. Um, not a lot of this. Yeah. Uh, this stuff is, what we call this sort of an invasive ingredient. Uh, just, In the best way possible. Yes, just because you only need half an ounce. Okay. Almost any time, even in cocktails where this is uh, an equal part uh, cocktail, the mm. last word and whatnot. I always bring it back, instead of three quarters or a full okay. ounce, I always bring it back to half. Like it? Because it really is very strong. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that Gotta stuff. be careful. Yeah. Because suddenly now you have a cocktail that tastes only like maraschino liqueur, and I think that's fine, but it I is- know. I like it too. It is kind of, like, it's like kind of it? gross by itself, okay. is the only problem. Gin. I know, a lot of people do think that they have to take, which is smart marketing, uh -huh. Aviation gin. Right. We love. Yeah, yeah. Your Christina Ricci is my Ryan Reynolds. Is that right? So, <laughs> aviation gin, of course. Yeah. All day long, shout right. out. Love you lots. Um, but you can also, of course, go with any. Any gin. Any gin that you yeah. find. Amsterdam is great. Right. We're not taking, you know, bottom barrel right. stuff. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I do believe that they named Aviation Gin mm. after the cocktail. They did. It wasn't the other way around. Yes. Yeah, so absolutely. Uh, we're gonna put in an ounce and a half of some gin here. There we go. Uh. A little extra. And the the whole thing about the Aviation, the reason that it was called the Aviation originally from Hugo Enslin, because it had this nice blue te uh, tint. Mm -hmm. Of course, there is no blue mm -hmm. uh, in this. And when um, when our guy Harry Craddock got a hold of this cocktail, he didn't want to deal with creme de violette. Yeah. So he just took it right out. So technically, to Harry Craddock and the Savoy, his... this is the Aviation. Yeah. But I do think that it's important that we go I the original. I think that's the version you still get at the Savoy. I'm well. sure it as is. As far as yeah. I remember, that's still the version. If you go to uh, to London to the yeah. Savoy, that is the version you get today. They're very, uh, they're very stubborn over there. <laughs> they're not. They, they're like Tauruses. <laughs> yeah, that's they right. They just know, you know, they believe in what they believe in. I Wouldn't just call it stubborn. I just said that's right, as if I knew what a Taurus <laughs> was like. Me? Uh, you? Yeah. Okay. Well, sure. Fantastic. <laughs> easy. I'm not going to argue with you on that I one. I wouldn't say easy, uh, but uh, fantastic is so, probably the right word. So a nice. Easy creme de violette. You can yeah. also use creme yvette if you want, but creme de violette is a perfectly fine liqueur. And I just put in a quarter ounce of this. A creme de violette uh, has, uh, over the years, changed colors a little bit. It now has more of a purple hue, uh -huh. uh, but still. Well, that's, that's what violet is, though. Yeah. I mean... uh, the original ones were blue. They, the uh, the way that's. Um... Well, then it should have been called creme de bleu. Creme de blue, right? I don't know. I don't know. Violets maybe that's used to be true, blue. That's true, but that's yeah. not... Yeah, did violet used to be blue? Violets used to be blue. I have a theory, Tammy, that uh, orange juice uh, used to be more sour. 
Okay. It's not a great theory. It's not a, it's not a brown. It's not a groundbreaking theory. Come from? Well, just because of all the cocktails that, like, when I go through old cocktails, orange juice sometimes is used in place of where lime juice would go, yeah. and so I just assume that oranges. We've been slowly, selectively breeding yeah. oranges to be less to, sour to make them sweeter. Because I think they used uh -huh. to be more of a more of like the sour citrus part of yeah. cocktails than they are now. Interesting thought. There we go. We might need to dig deeper into those. I'm gonna try assumptions. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, our cocktail right here. It's in the largest glass of all time. If you can get a Nick and Nora, this ah. glass fits really well in a Nick and Nora. Uh, but we uh, we do not carry Nick and Noras at this bar, so we're just gonna have to not yet uh, overindulge ourselves with a little bit of. All right, let's do it like this. Uh, overindulge ourselves with just a little bit of flair. I love the on coupe. here. I love the coupe. Me too. Okay, we'll the see. APC. What are you doing? Oh now? gosh, it ripped. Uh, just wrapping this around here, just to give this a little structure, mm -hmm. so that we can get a nice um, uh, twisty, mm -hmm. a nice little wind. Mm -hmm. Get this here. Really sort of hold that on there. We do this above. We'll get a little bit of those oils popping out, and then. Oh wow! Look at this. that. Beautiful. Yeah, I do remember our uh, shoestring competition. Yeah. <laughs> a very unfair shoestring right, competition. Right. I brought a uh, I brought a potato peeler. <laughs> I have yeah, an electric fantastic. potato peeler. Great time. Yeah, I thought, great time. I thought that was pretty good. Real fair. <laughs> uh -huh. Do you want to have a uh, quick garnish race with me? Uh -huh. I'll give you a head start. How long? Just as long as you can make it. As long as I can make it, really? Well, that's a bit of a joke, isn't it? Who has one of those? I win! Uh, I win! Yeah! Has, I was wondering <laughs> what the hell that was. <laughs> the aviation. The aviation, and with its slight blue tints, uh, which is of course what gives it uh, the name, the aviation. Love it. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. To you. This is for, for you guys, for your viewers, because you search for it they searched for it and they found our channel by searching for the aviation and i just i can't tell you how happy that makes me i can't tell you how happy that makes me. <laughs> yeah you. right it actually yeah. matches your outfit almost exactly it does. yes you're right yeah actually here we go yeah wow yeah. i did not plan that yeah mm -hmm. nailed it well who says i didn't right <laughs> that's true that is we'll true. never know all right well then i say what did everyone search for Drink number three. Number three is another one that I, uh, this is, I would say probably my biggest guilty pleasure. Oh. Uh, so maybe the chat or maybe the people that search for us have a, uh, you know, they maybe they understand my psyche a little mm. better than I do. This is created by a guy named Dale DeGroff. Uh, or, oh. or maybe not. Okay. Uh, some people think right. it was, some people think it wasn't. But okay. uh, on the show Drink Masters recently, oh. uh, he did come out and say he created it. So I'm going to go with Papa Dale. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Internet says he did. And the internet, yeah. as we know, Is does always, not lie. Yeah. Uh, so. I've heard conflicting stories. But uh, yes. either way, uh, it's a cocktail that... Um, became very famous first in the hands of Madonna, mm -hmm. second in the hands of Sarah Sex Jessica yeah, Parker. Sex in the city. Uh, this is the Cosmopolitan. Yes, absolutely. And I love that people searched for the Cosmopolitan and found me. <laughs> that oh, I that makes me really happy. That is uh, quite surprising <laughs> yeah. that it's, um, oh yeah, uh, number one, Madonna, uh, two, oh, oh, Sex in the City, yeah. obviously. What, and, Oh, Scott Cushman. Yeah, Scott Cushman. Oh, yeah, Scott Cushman. Yeah. Oh, he's making Yeah, yeah the beard what? guy. Yeah, what? exactly. What? So, um, yeah. so I'm really, I really am very, I'm appreciative to yes. the people that search for that and found us. Can I make this? Yes, one? absolutely. Yes, Tammy. To please. bring back the memories. Please, absolutely. Of end, uh, end 90s for me. So this is, uh, this is my version of oh. the Cosmo. I just, it really is, a Cosmo uh, can be sort of mixed around a little bit. Can uh I? Dale puts in more cranberry juice than I would put in. Yes. Uh, so I'm gonna put in my version, or you're gonna put in my amount of uh, that. So uh, let's go ahead and squeeze a lime. Okay. Uh, let's get, uh, let's get about uh, half an ounce, maybe three quarters of an ounce. So, so do I have to slice it down no, like you no, did? No, 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 no. no, no. I, I would just squeeze it. Just in half? Yeah, just in half. Okay, let me just chop this guy down yeah. here. I'll do the little, what you call nubbin and I call noggin. Noggin, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. The uh, head. I don't want to say the N word. <laughs> yeah, the the uh, the N. Uh, the half, noggin nubbin. Uh, how, what, how much? So I usually put in. I squeeze in either three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, or I just squeeze in one lime. 
Yeah, I was gonna say that's It's just not, so much easier. It's not so, reaching a... Yeah, so let's hit that with just one lime there. Okay. Decent sized limes are in season. Clearly. Yeah. Yeah, good amount. Yeah, my uh, my lime tree, Tito, oh, yeah. is doing how's... very well. Yeah. He has a lot of buds, so really? we're hoping for a big uh, harvest this year. God, only another eight years to go until we yeah. can show the fruits on the show. Right, exactly. Um, Cointreau. Yes. You can, if you want to, put in some Grand Marnier. I think that's a little too much. I like mm. to put in the Cointreau mm. instead. Uh, the Cointreau is a, uh, it's closer to a triple sec yep. than it is to a Cointreau, or then, I'm sorry, than it is to a Curacao. Yeah. Um, and I don't want this, I don't want it to be an orange cocktail, right? So just a little bit of this, uh, half an ounce. Okay. The way I like it is with half an ounce of cranberry juice cocktail. Okay. This is with the sugar and everything. This is cocktail, not to be mistaken. Yes, it's juice. exactly. Nailed it. Okay. Dale was putting in an ounce. Yeah. I like half an ounce. So half an ounce of some cranberry juice cocktail okay. for me. Well. There we go. This is vodka. Uh, well, yeah. The only way that he was going to be able to sneak a cocktail past people that was uh, well built with fresh ingredients was yeah. to use vodka. And I think that in this case, it's just fine. Uh, use your vodka. This is kettle one. Yeah. Ounce and a half to oh, two awesome. ounces. Let's do, let's go the full two for me. Well, I'm drinking now, aren't I? No. You're oh, making man. it. I'm drinking it. <laughs> That's, isn't that how it works? Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right, hold on. There you go. Now, I just want you to see the color there. Yes. If your, if your Cosmo comes out anything but pink, yeah. it is wrong. Correct. If it comes out red, it is wrong. Mm -hmm. You want this to be a pink cocktail. Mm -hmm. That is the way to do it. Uh, let's give this a shake. Sure. There we go. Do you have a lid? Oh, this one, this guy? Uh, no, it's got mint in it. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you have an extra? Yeah, there we go. Okay, come on. Uh, I'm just going to, I know Dale was a huge fan of chilling glasses, so I'm just gonna take a piece of ice. Throw some soda water in here to get oh, my glass chilled. Uh-oh. Uh-uh. Hold on. Uh-uh. We don't need to completely annihilate this one. Oh, here we no, go. No, 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 no. So. Nice. What are you doing with this? Why did you do the soda water situation? Oh, uh, so Dale DeGroff is a, was a, I mean, a, Bartenders, we yeah. just, we don't have a we don't have a freezer behind us, um, so normally I would chill whatever glass we're serving this in. Yeah. This is supposed to be a very cold cocktail, so we are going to uh, just take a little bit of ice, a little bit of soda water, so we can chill the glass. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. Yeah. Some some bars have um, the fridges, little fridges. Doctor Cruz's they... exotic drinks. Oh, well, let's see. Wow. I'll do it over here, here for go. you. All right, I'm going to leave this a little bit open. There we so go. Look at that. I mean, you got to find your inner yeah. Carrie Bradshaw right That's now. That's right. A very. You know? uh, I'm such a Charlotte, though. Um, uh, let's throw a let's throw a garnish oh. on there. Yeah, let's throw a garnish on there real oh. quick. Uh, we have this guy. Okay. Um, what do we want? I don't know. What do you want? What do, what do you think? Maybe a maybe a circle. Maybe a. Um, uh, I mean, let's maybe a, do a wedge. Wedges are boring. Let's do a little. Um, Situation. Oh sure. You know. We love a half a. You know, just one of these guys. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Look just at that. Little... With the nubbin on yeah, top. Yeah, it's like a little nipple. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, a little, little nipple. Ni little Carrie Bradshaw nipple. If I there. wasn't already nervous yeah. about the, uh, actually, the uh, color of the drink. Samantha, Samantha nipple on there with there a Carrie go. Bradshaw drink. Yeah. Here we go. This uh, Tammy looks exactly like what a oh, yeah. uh, a Cosmo should look like, a Cosmopolitan mm. should look like. Mm. If you wanted, you wanted a little sweeter, you can put a little bit more cranberry juice in there. I feel like that's the one flux you have yeah. uh, back and forth. You can maybe bring back the lime, put up the uh, the cranberry, but this is looking this is looking really good. So uh, cheers. Cheers. Yeah, absolutely. Very, my favorite. In my least right in my now. least favorite cocktail glass though. That's true. Well, hey, it was invented in the 80s. This is what they got it in. That is lovely. Isn't it great? Mm -hmm. Yeah, give that a taste. I mean, the Cosmo is just, um, no denying. Emblematic of our show. I mean. <laughs> that is basically what our show is all about, is the Cosmo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, double trouble. Double trouble. Ah, yum. Yeah, and you can bring, Happy like I said. in the list, that's, that's, that's great. That's so crazy. Drink number 
four. Drink number four is a drink that we have not made on this show. The espresso martini is a cocktail that I don't make it's all that often. It's an 80s cocktail, isn't it's it? It's a big 80s cocktail. Mm. It is a simple cocktail. Yeah. Um, there isn't much to it. Yeah. Um, the problem with this one uh, is most bars that I've ever been at just don't carry coffee. Oh. Uh, so it's difficult, or don't make it. Don't make espresso. So okay. difficult to make. So yeah. um, let's make it. I'll show you guys how Shoot. a very simple version of this. Uh, we're gonna start over here with our vodka. Uh, throw in two full ounces espresso. Yep. One ounce. We're gonna be putting in about an ounce of some coffee liqueur. Yeah. Uh, the IBA mm -hmm. calls for um, Kahlua, yeah. but we're using Mr. Black here instead. So uh, just a, sort of a short one ounce. And then I have just some simple syrup. Yeah. Touch more than half an ounce okay. right there, just to sort of sweeten up what we got here. And that is it. Yeah, um, no, it's, it's simpler than people think. Yeah, I think a lot of people get a little, uh, a little worked up thinking mm. that there's got to be so much going on in this guy. We're going to give this a big fat shake. Uh, we're going to throw this in here. We get this lovely mm. crema on top. That's yeah. a espresso word that my wife has taught me. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Almost like a fizz. Almost, yeah, it's got a lot of that. Now I'm going to take these guys right here. Pieces of paper? Two pieces of paper, I'm gonna put one. Okay. Do you, one want to, do you want to hold it? Here, no, I can get it. it. Let's just put this right here. Let's just move this up a little bit that way. Okay. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, uh, <laughs> this is just instant coffee. Great. Uh, and we're just going to... Sort I'm of... happy you saved this one for last. Yeah. So in case I get the uh, instant... Was that a Keurig? It's a Keurig, yeah. In my teeth! That, uh... It's the end of the show. Yeah, so exactly. So no one cares. We're just going to sort of... Yeah. Pop this in here. We going want to a... Attempt to make a, a nice line. nice straight line. Uh-huh. There we go. Mm -hmm. Take this off wow. right there. And... Wow! I like to throw... Three beans. Applause, applause, applause. Come on. One, two, three. I mean. Right there. That's just that's so we get a very pretty. Nice three bean. Three beans, of course. Yeah. Uh, for everlasting life. Yeah. Uh, only if you only have three yeah. friends, and you can never have enough to carry your to be your uh, uh, your pallbearers. Uh, so only ever have three friends. That okay. way you'll live forever. Um, uh, thank you for this. this You're is so welcome. Beautiful. The espresso martini. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. All right. Snifferoo. I mean, mm -hmm. delish. Ooh, see how I caught it? Yeah, I you did it catch it. Touch. Just before I almost. Let me twist it again. It's a tough cocktail oh, to drink. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good, though, it's right? It's so good. Yeah. It's just. Um, I think most people eventually just scoop out the uh, the line of a uh, uh, of coffee, but some people really like that coffee, that line of instant coffee. You can certainly just eat yes. that if you want. Uh, it does get caught in your teeth, and it will give you a crazy buzz. Clearly, people are searching us for more, uh, you know, Amer maybe American style stuff and not yeah. global stuff, which it's I true. appreciate also yeah, yeah. as well. Um, mojito, yep. aviation, yep. Cosmo, espresso martini. Yep. Ooh, this is a. That's a tie. Oh, I, I don't listen. I do not envy I mean, you picking between pick those. Those are. These. There's a reason that those are four of the most famous cocktails in the world. Is because they're very good. There is no. I cannot. To be honest with I you, I wouldn't do it. I can't. I can't. I cannot. I wouldn't do it. I cannot pick a favorite. They're yeah. all my favorites. Everyone's a winner here tonight. I'm picking one favorite, on the show. So. Final. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> cheers. Yes. Yes. Uh, cheers We've done to it. you. To you, Tam. Thank you, and thank you uh, for searching. Mm for these cocktails and finding us. If you're tuned in for the first time, welcome to the show. If you are one of our favorites, of course, who tunes in, uh, you know, more than twice. Yeah. Uh, in the last two and a half years that we've been on air. Welcome back, we love you so much. Thank you for tuning in with us again. We have an exciting show coming up next week. Mm -hmm. Not gonna give too much away. 
Uh, but also hop on over to our Instagram page, uh, hop on over to our TikTok, Twitch we're on as well, mm -hmm. um, and all sorts of other, uh, Patreon, for example, patreon.com slash hour as well. Cheers, Amazing. Kush. You. Thank you so much again. Absolutely. See you in a week's time. See everyone very, very soon. Love you long time. Uh, always uh, like and subscribe as well. I'm Tenny Harrison. This is Scott Cushman. Cheerio.